So at this juncture, looking at what we have been able to do, being really very clear on where we are as a nation and what part of the contribution you want to. So I, I, I want at least one of you to tell me exactly what it is that is so egregious. Um, we know that you talk about moving from zero to 15, but you see, none of us contracted bonds at zero percent. So it's hard for us to even make a comparison from zero. For us, we look at it from what terms we accepted when we took our bonds that were issued. And if we are huggling over three percent, that should tell you how dire our situation is and how vulnerable we are. If 3% means so much to us, so that's what we want you to look at. We are asking for you to totally exempt us from this program. We are not that many you know. You know the total value. You do know that a third of us or so go beyond 5%. But those uh, uh, five years, but you know, when people were buying bonds, they saw the terms of the bonds and they had objectives when they bought bonds. Their objectives are that they are looking for maturities to match certain plans in their lives. And that is why people picked bonds that they picked at the time that they did. So even though it's a good thing that you may be wanting to bring some people whose bonds mature way beyond 2028 to that point, bringing it forward to 20, um, 2028 or so, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a good thing that you are doing for them because they have their objectives and they know why they picked the bonds that they picked. But please, we depend on our coupons. We've, made, we've done all the math. We know what to expect. We know how to add that to whatever other income we get, either from social security or whatever. We've planned our lives around these bonds. Some people, when they do the computation, they tell you that what they are going to be getting per month or so is just like a thousand CDs or two thousand CDs or something, but they have planned their lifestyles around it. So please, total exemption is what we ask. We are not many. Please look at us and do this for us. We are vulnerable. We don't want to be a burden on you, on the country, or on our children. We want to be a burden on ourselves. And so we planned our lives in such a way that we will be a burden on ourselves. So Great. please, we Thank know you that you much. will give us some good no, hearing yeah. and consideration. Thank no, you. No. Thank you very much uh, for this. You know, the, the, the challenge that we have is that we have an economic crisis. We do have an economic crisis. And I think um, if people truly want the elongated bonds, that's easier to do. It's less burden on us. We thought, you know, really, and that was one of the huge things that um, Dr. Eduard Anani and co were saying, that look, this 12 years is too long, I'll be dead by then. And so we found it, you know, necessary to find a way to bring it to five years. Um, the question that we have is that if we do not get our economy stable, you know, your 18 or 40 percent or whatever would mean nothing. So it is crucial that we get this economy table. It is crucial that we ensure that our uh, foreign exchange issues are resolved so that there is uh, integrity in whatever numbers we put here. And the question that I'm saying is because I need to make sure that the economy is stable.